family that is very deeply in touch with who they are as a culture. This notion of aloha is something that defines my life. So I was basically raised to just care for the things around me. There's a responsibility to conduct my life in a way that brings honor to my family and to my culture. We opened our first store in North Park, San Diego. Aloha Beach Club to me is a lot more than just a brand or a retail store. It's a way to conduct yourself. When it comes to making a product, there's an element of responsibility where you need to care. There are a lot more people affected by that than the people who choose to buy the piece of clothing. I've always loved drawing. I've always been actually super inspired by street art and graffiti as a kid growing up in Hawaii. Design was always something that I wanted to do. And as I dug into the design process, I kind of realized that the best art that I could possibly make is art that deeply connects with who I am as an individual. Whether I knew it or not, I'm Hawaiian. I'm privy to a whole bunch of life experiences and, and ways of thinking that are only unique to someone who grew up where I did. My inspiration comes from that. It comes from living in Hawaii, it comes from the ocean, it comes from surfing, and it comes from family and the people that have always inspired me. It's always one of my dreams to be able to bring the brand and the company back home. Back in the 1950s, the majority of Aloha shirts were all made in Hawaii. As costs increased, a lot of brands decided to move their production over to China. The majority of the manufacturers in Hawaii did go out of business, however, there have been a select few that managed to stick around. When we came to Hawaii, we wanted to try to find people that were still making Aloha shirts and clothing in the old way that you know they used to. The decision to bring our manufacturing back to Hawaii is really an attempt to just have a positive impact on everybody associated with making our product. A lot of our fabric is printed by hand on a large table in Hawaii. Due to that process, there's going to be imperfections. And I think a lot of people might want to stay away from that and they, they prefer the perfect, but I don't. I love inconsistencies and ultimately I love things that have a story. In manufacturing in Hawaii, I have the ability to impact a lot of people locally. And that's something that we really care about as a brand. So this past February, we opened up in my hometown of Kailua. In Hawaiian culture, a lot of emphasis is placed on your genealogy and where you come from. My dad has kind of always told me to live by really two primary principles. You know, one of them is basically just to respect others. And the other one is pretty much the same thing, but it's to treat others well. Amongst the many things that we've been blessed with as a family is, is that word aloha speaks to the importance of kindness, the importance of family, it speaks to the importance of seeing the good in people. We do have the responsibility as a family to always ask ourselves, are we representing our predecessors well?
It's so much more than a brand. It's embodied in Aloha. It's a lifestyle ethos. I want this brand to be something that inspires the people that were in my position as a little kid. Surfing for me is a very personal experience. It's something that is always there in my life. And I learn a lot from the ocean and just from spending time on the water. With surfing, it's not always great. Sometimes you go out and it's terrible, but the discipline of going out and just being there carries over into my work ethic, understanding the, the discipline that is required to create anything. I enjoy the process of creating. I have faith that I'll be able to do it for a long time. I think that it's special and I think that we're adding value to the world. I'm not afraid.